a week ahead of us because she's cheating. She is hitting this. So we're using calibrated to make sure it's right. This is 195 pounds. Where are you at now? Like 160? Like one, I was 119 this morning. Okay. After my day. So huge. <laughs> oh yeah, two day refeed. What is going on guys? Kyle here from Colossus Fitness. Today we're bringing you Summer Flex episode 13. Yes, I said 13. Feels like we just started the series yesterday, but unfortunately summer's winding down here in Canada. Um, but anyway, so here we have Olivia, who is Josh's girlfriend, hitting an AMRAP set of squats um, with 195 on the bar. For those of you who don't know, AMRAP stands for as many reps as possible. How many? How many? Okay, she couldn't do 185, which is 10 pounds less than this, three months ago. I'm she sure. failed. And now, what the heck? That that is gains right there. <laughs> All right, 234. Oh my gosh! Dang! What the heck? My goal was 225. So Josh and myself get a lot of questions about what type of programming we're doing. Um, basically, for those of you who have been staying up to date with our channel, you know we have done Candido in the past, we've done Conjugate, and then now for our third competition, which is coming up this October, we're going to be going into it with a little bit of a variation of Lane Norton's PH3 program. The man knows how to grind. <laughs> Not too bad. It's so not going to lie, guys, PH3 is killer. Um, sometimes Josh and myself will go to the gym in the morning and then look at our numbers, like our percentages, um, total volume, and whatnot. And we'll think, is Lane Norton insane? Like, how does he expect us to do all this? But anyways, we grind it out. Um, that's what it's all about. It's about getting in there and crushing it. Even when the numbers are hard, even when the weight feels heavy, it's all about pushing through. So for those of you who have been updated with our channel, we have been cutting, so it has been super hard as well. With that being said, what we like to do for our programs is we like to kind of take the foundation and the basic numbers that are given to us from a certain program and make it our own. So our last competition we did Conjugate, but we made our own little variation. The competition before we did Candido and made our own little twist on the workout routine. It seemed to do us fairly well and we ended up doing well in the competitions as you guys have seen. So here we have Olivia, also known as Colossus Fitties, hitting the bench 95 pounds for nine. She has made tremendous progress over the last little while. Make sure to subscribe to her if you aren't already. There's a card in the top right. Anyway, so she's hitting an AMRAP set here and how it works is she's gonna take the calculated one rep max from this AMRAP set and then use it into her next training block and work off of those numbers. Now we've got some raw lifting for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Wow. Five lots of Olivia, wait. Wait, 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 watch. We found a new booty exercise. The struggle when it's not in the middle of the platform. Okay, so 540 by three is only a one or a max of 572, which is way below my capacity. So I can't even say that that's like taxing. Felt pretty heavy, but doing this A without squats is a different story. It's just like a joke, because after your spine's all compressed, three sets of eight with like 85%, like it's literally like you want to cry. And you don't think you can walk, let alone deadlift over 500 pounds. So even though I'm not hitting my PR and it's slow, that doesn't mean you're weak. It just means that you're taxed, you're fatigued. That's why when you peak and you get nice breaks, you get to carb up before a show, before a comp, you just come in like a savage. And that's why you just push through training and you might not know what your max is, but you just hit your percentages and keep killing it.
What's the most you've done there for that? One. One. That's, That's my PR. PR. Dang, yeah. I got five. If somebody got a problem, we could meet up anywhere. Now go say some. Don't you play dumb. You know where we came from. And you don't want sauce, no A1. AMRAP sets. You're not exactly hitting a one rep max, but you are leaving absolutely everything you have on the table. Every day you guys hear people talking about how much they want to win their powerlifting competition, how good they want to look on stage, how much weight they're going to lift. To do this, you've got to learn to grind. You've got to learn to love the process and step out of your comfort zone. And unfortunately, it's sad to say, but a lot of people aren't willing to put in that work. Like the famous quote from Ronnie Coleman says, Everybody wants to be a bodybuilder, but nobody wants to lift no heavy ass weight. Even if it means failing, guys, we all know failure is the key to success. We've got to push past that comfort zone, learn to grind, and you will be amazed at what you guys can accomplish.